Good afternoon guys, heading my way up to Smyrna. As I promised uh, from the previous video, I'm gonna go ahead and try my hand at pan fishing today. Uh, bass fishing's really slowing down guys and uh, I don't wanna go uh, doing a bass fishing video and I waste a day and end up not catching anything or maybe a small one and that's that. So I wanted to make sure we have you know, a bunch of fish to create a good decent video. So I'm gonna head up to a spillway here up in Smyrna near my kid's house, which I know more than likely will produce some fish. Uh, we're looking at uh, bluegill, uh, some crappie, and uh, maybe a potential perch, but at least, uh, you know, we're still adding on and still continuing to keep you guys busy and watching my videos and as well as the oaksters. But uh, give me a couple seconds to get up the highway and uh, we'll start getting that uh, line wet and hopefully get some fish on board. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so wouldn't you know it, we got fire police here, or it might be an accident here, but this sucks. That's where I need to go to go ahead and get to where I need to go. And, uh, oh no, it looks like construction is what it is. So, I gotta figure out a way to get around this guy, so give me a couple seconds, because again, the spillway that I need to get to is way down this road here, but it looks like they're only blocking off the development entrances here, so. Uh, hopefully I can get around this and uh, get the fish, and I don't wanna lose too much light here, guys. All right, guys, thankfully there is a detour. It's a little bit longer than I need to go, but at least it'll put me almost right next to or right in front of that spillway that I need to go to here up in Smyrna. Again, it's Massey Mill Pond, uh, where we're going right now. It's, a, like I said, a pretty popular spot for the pan for fishermen when it gets to, to be this type of weather right here. So hopefully uh, I'm the only one there and uh, I, you know we got all the space available to us, but if not, we'll just work around whoever's there. So again, we're trying to get this uh, video started, but uh, We'll work around it and uh, we'll make it happen. So give me a second. All right, guys, we finally made it after that short little detour with that construction zone that was blocking me from where I need to get to. But I finally uh, am at the pond that I want to be to. We're at Massey Mill Pond up in Smyrna. And as I said, we're going to go ahead and do some pan fishing. So if you look over my shoulder right here, this is not the spill we're going to go to right here on the corner of this pond. But if we pan over here a little bit more, no pun intended, right there, that's the spillway we're going to go to. So on top here, it's a few feet deep right here, and we're going to put a bobber on, and using my Archie jigs, we're going to go ahead and jig that bobber and try to get some action off of there. And I even have some magnet baits, but they usually like those little Archie swim baits. They're, they're devastating, so hopefully that happens today. But before we go there, we're going to go to the other side of the road and down below, which is about maybe 10 or 15 feet below this pond. Lots of panfish down there. You're talking about uh, crappy. We're talking about bluegills. We're talking about possibly a white perch in there. So... I'm going to go ahead and get my rods, get suited up, make my way over there, and uh, hopefully we have a productive video, and uh, we'll throw something up there, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So give me a second to walk over there, and uh, we'll make it happen. All right, guys, we're making our way over here now. So got my micro rods in hand, and guys, like I said, Walmart, go out and get these things. They're good for the kids, but if you like pan fishing, these are a must. But this is not the brand that I want, but it's almost similar to what I got uh, before from Walmart. But I think it's just the one I went to. But again, it's made by Arky Baits or Arky Jigs. And they're little tiny little swim baits. But then you have the Mr. Twister styles that are inside of there too. But these are usually good if you have a decent uh, jig head on here. It's got a little bit of weight. Let it get down in a water column. And uh, the fish go wild for them. So we're just about over to this uh, spillway I'm talking about. So bear with me here as we walk up. And as I told you, right here, guys, if you look right there. Here's the upper portion right here. Like I said, it's about a few feet deep in here and they lay right on the edges right here and right over the edge over here. But if I'm careful and I walk across the highway, there's a little pool area. Oh, look at that. How about that, guys? Big old great blue heron. But if you look right down here, guys, all in here, it's rocky. And there's a pool right here where the fish sit in and they, uh, they sit right along. There's like a whole bunch of rocks like a, as a long row right here. And they sit right in there too. So if we're careful and we don't get caught in the rocks, we should have some fish here. But we're gonna try right here first. So give me a second, I have to walk over here and walk down this area and we're gonna throw the bait out and see what happens, guys. 
So I hate this because it's hairy, man, when you walk down these rocks. <laughs> and bear with me here. And I'm trying to carry my rods and my baits at the same time. So I got to switch my hands with the stuff in it. And we got to be careful walking down these rocks. But we'll make it down here without killing ourselves. What fun. We're almost there, guys. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right, get down in this little groove. I'm gonna get around this right here and fish in this pool first. And then I'm gonna make my way up back up here over this edge and we're gonna fish over in them rocks. All right, guys, I got my uh, my little uh, ugly stick with uh, my little micro uh, reel on here. And again, we got the Arky jig that's on here. Again, this one's got like the Mr. Twister style tail on it. Uh, like I said, we're not gonna start with the swim bait. I'm just gonna go with what's on my reel or my end of my uh, line first. And uh, we're gonna toss it out there and see what happens. Surprising us hitting already, man. Come on now. Let's toss out over here, see if they're there. Oh, that was the bottom. Come on, something's gotta be there. Oh, don't wanna do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this little swim bait on here and put this on the jig head. Just make sure we got it the right way. But uh, like I said, during the summertime, panfish absolutely love these things. Uh, when I was at my dad's house, uh, he has a slip on a dock that's down there. And if you guys can look right here, I caught an eight pound catfish off of this little bait right here. Same exact color. Like I said, I don't have the, the box of baits that I have, but the ones that I wanted, uh, again, are called Arky Jigs or Arky Baits, whichever you want to call them. And they emulate the bait fish. So like that one right obviously right there is a shad color. There's one that looks like baby fry bass. One looks like a minnow. And then again, a couple other certain colors uh, that are in there, like you know your pinks, your yellows uh, that you can have. But uh, what fun to have those on there, guys. And like I said, something to take the kids with, throw a bobber on it. So if you don't want to go ahead and uh, the kids don't like putting their hands on the sticky and messy worms, this is a nice and clean version uh, that the kids can use. But if you can look, it literally look at that little tail going on, guys. If you can see it, it looks like a little little shad swimming around in here. I mean, come on now. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over here. Before we go over to the other side, I'm gonna go right on top of the ledge right here. I'm gonna cast in the rocks and up under that bridge itself there. So bear with me a second to get over there before I. <laughs> end up killing myself first and sometimes like I said you know you see all this crap I got to go through guys just to get to where I need to get to and just like I said sometimes treacherous and you just got to be careful of your footing sometimes that's why it's always good to have good footwear which I don't have on today <laughs> Oh, there you go. Look at that, guys. That's a bass. <laughs> Woo! Are you kidding me? Hey, I just watched him come out of the depths, guys, and just smash the living crap out of that thing. <laughs> like I told you, man, they come right after that bait. A little bass. We're not skunked. But, uh, hey, thank you, Junior Fry. Watch your eye, because I got it. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to turn myself to the right-hand side. I th the reason I think that fish came out from somewhere is if you see there's a big old branch that's laying there but barely under the surface you can see the thick portion of the branch right here and right in that area right there is right where he came up from and snapped that uh, bait and put it in his mouth and that was a, a regretful decision for him because I pulled him in and I showed you the trophy fish alright guys I'm going to try to cast it into that pool without getting caught in a tree there you go and of course I get caught in the rocks. That's not good. <laughs> That's the only downside with fishing with, uh, without the bobber on guys, is just getting caught in those rocks, but it's worth it to me. That's why I do it. So I just gotta yank it and tie a new one on guys. 
think I'm gonna make my way over to the uh, to the uh, other side of this uh, spillway. Okay, guys, one thing I forgot to tell you is when you go ahead and buy these uh, baits and everything, they do come with their own jig heads. So um, that helps you out there. That way you don't have to buy a separate packaging unless you have a certain jig head that you are uh, keen to and you want it all, use to use it for uh, your little swim baits. Go ahead and do that, but uh, they're in there. But like I said, for five to 10 bucks, man, you're gonna have a bunch of fun with these things. And uh, again, I'm gonna make my way back up over here and up on the other side of this uh, spillway. And we're gonna try our luck up there because again, I don't wanna get all snagged up in the rocks and lose all my jigs before I get the fish up there. We're gonna traverse our way back up <laughs> these rocks right here. And again, it's a little slick here. So I just gotta be careful because again, I don't have uh, the most best of shoes on right now. <sighs> up the rocks we go. Fun, 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 guys. Especially for an old dude like this, man. Put some pressure on the knees. All right, so we're up above. We go to the right-hand side and cast across here, guys. All right. Find a good place to get over here. And walk over here. Right off the bat, guys, I'm already noticing a obstacle that's in a way but I'm gonna work my way around it but uh the obstacle is that stick so let's go ahead and toss this out here and see if we have any luck like I said I, I don't know the true depth but I think it's somewhere near maybe four or five feet deep over here so I gotta let it uh, the swim bait sink a little bit more into the water column and hopefully we don't have a lot of uh, debris underneath here but I'm going to try it, uh, the jig free, and if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go ahead and put the bobber on, and we're going to find out what the true depth is, and then we're just going to go ahead and jig uh, using that uh, bobber on there. But I know, I know there's crappy in here somewhere, or at least some bluegill. So we got a visitor over here. He's, uh, he's probably, he looks like he's using live bait, so he's probably going for bass right there, but he's got bobbers on and a big old bucket. I'm sure it's probably some brimmer bluegill in there he's gonna throw out no nah, shiners I had a little bite that was sitting right here guys so we're gonna see if we can get that uh, back on there but I'm curious to see what he'll get off of this across from the way from us yeah there are little shiners that are on there all right guys so I got the uh, chartreuse colored one right here again I'm gonna go to the swim bait and see if that little paddle tail makes them a little bit more aggressive at hitting the bait put that bad boy on there and see if uh See if these fish can hit that sexy little thing. I'm surprised that guy hasn't caught anything off these shiners yet. I'm willing to see what he pulls up. Probably a catfish or a bass, one or the other. But the season is the way you make it. I mean, if you just want to quit right at the winter, then just quit. Oh, look, here we go, guys. Here we go. There we go. We find, oh, my goodness gracious. So that goes to show you that they are going to key off of that tail. They're right in this area right here. That's where I've been getting the strikes at. I gotta let them take it a little bit longer. I'm sitting there getting a little too excited because I haven't had a hit in a bit. <laughs> my luck will probably catch a fish about as big as my finger. Oh, there you go, that was a solid hit, man. Good Lord Almighty, I was sleeping on that one, guys. <laughs> I suck. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Finally, here we go, guys, we got one. Oh, what is it? Crappy, finally. Got one. <laughs> we got one on. Like I said, I switched up to that swim bait because it had a little bit more action on it. You can see how much more it waves around, and uh, it was worth it. So we know that crappy like to school together. So I'm going to keep throwing it out there, and uh, we're going to go ahead and try to keep uh, getting some more of these little bad boys. Hopefully there's a big one that's hanging around in there. But I love their iridescent colors on them, man. They're pretty. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this fish back in the water and... Uh, should go. We're gonna go over this side over here. That way if these guys catch something behind me here, I'm facing them and I can see them fight for the fish and I can hopefully walk my way over there and allow me to go ahead and uh, film them. I'm gonna go to the other side of the bridge and just change my vantage point as I said and see if uh, there's anything laying up on this side. I'm gonna cast right over here by that stick again and come across the opposite way. Maybe a fish might hit over there. Yeah, look at the fish is hitting right there guys, see it? It's because they don't see me there. Yeah, 
It's still tapping on it. Come on, hit that, hit that thing. You can see it bouncing around there, guys. You got it? Yep, we got him. Here we go. We got another fish, guys. What do we got? A little crappy. All right. <laughs> it's a little one, but hey, that's number three. A little pretty little fish, guys. But what are you going to do? It's real slow, but we're still catching fish. You can see they're trying to rip it right off the hook. So every once in a while, you just got to fiddle it right back onto the head. Put this right between my legs. Just put it right back down there and force it right onto that piece right there, right where my finger's at, guys. That way it stays on there. Usually they have a tiny little hook in there that holds it in place. But uh, we're going to cast right back over there. Why not? Maybe there's more than one. As I said, they do school. I'm sure when you guys saw my first videos and everything else like that, uh, I told you uh, at a certain pond down in, I think it was a Kent, or excuse me, Sussex County area, uh, the state record was caught off of uh, some salties or like a gigantic version of, uh, of uh, shiners. And uh, look, there's another one right here. Here we go, guys. It went straight up underneath there. I watched it too. There he goes. He's got it. We're going to make our way over, guys. It's a little one, but hey, it's a bass nonetheless, guys. Jump over here, guys. Check them out. This buddy's over here recording too. Come over his shoulder. Little bass right off the shiners, guys. There you go. Nice deal, man. Who says bass aren't hitting at the coldest time of the fall, guys? That's it, man. There you go. Good job, guys. All right, guys. How about that? Mike and Wayne. That's uh. The gentleman there, uh, Mike is the gentleman that caught the bass, and again, he caught it right off a of shiner. He said it's the best time to go. Might be another uh, idea for fishing, guys, for me. Again, like I said, it doesn't matter what you use here for pan fishing. I mean, a lot of people use mealy worms, wax worms, uh, you know, night crawlers, little tiny pieces. Uh, you got your rooster tails and stuff like that, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of people don't do this kind of fishing, but like I said, you see how slow it is. I mean, these guys have been out here with live bait, and he only caught one fish. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this episode, because, again, even though I don't have a lot of fish, obviously I have a little bit more action uh, than what he's got going on because these fish are moving around uh, right around this time of the year. But, uh, again, only a couple fish. Uh, it kind of surprised me, like I said, that, like I said, we're not getting any hits over here, but we are getting them out in the deep, so I'm going to throw a couple more casts. Again, hitting off the chartreuse. So they're probably sitting right up there in that school of crappy there. All right. That's a good way to end the video. Hopefully this will be a future lunker, man. A couple more years and he'll be catching it as a four or five pounder. But uh, hey. And she's gone. All right, guys. Hey. It wasn't a super productive day, but I was kind of surprised that I caught those two little bass off of those Arky rigs. Uh, again. $10 from Walmart, man, go get them things. I mean, you'd be surprised what hits on them. Like I said, I'm gonna show you this picture again. You see an eight pound catfish off of these things. That's why I like fishing with them, man. Everybody goes with the rooster tails and, and all the other nonsense, but those tiny little swim baits, those fish just go absolutely bonkers for them and they chase it all over the place. So I'm gonna make my way out of here, guys. I hope you liked what you saw. And again, it's not a great episode, but it's fishing nonetheless, guys, for me, and nonetheless for you guys, because I'm sure you guys always fiend for some kind of video that uh, might float your boat. Hopefully this one did. But uh, I'm going to bid you guys adieu, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that sh uh, the shiner fishing like those guys were doing, Mike and Wayne. Hey, he caught a bass that was way out in the middle there, so that's just another idea that I can put up on here and uh, hopefully uh, keep you guys attracted to uh, my page here. So like subscribe push that notification bell guys get out there and fish man we still got plenty of time here on the east coast uh it is getting colder as the day goes by right now it's very chilly that little breeze and that little mist of rain uh just i can feel it on my knuckles man it's just, just cold guys so hey have an awesome weekend hopefully uh, i'm gonna go out fishing tomorrow again if not i'll try to get it up another episode and uh guys fish on